probably heard it from your mom. Pierce your tongue and it'll fall off. Well, it won't, but oral piercings do cause dental problems. I've seen a lot of infected tongue rings recently, so I thought I'd give you the real deal on this oral jewelry. In general, any oral piercing, no matter where you put it, opens up you to an array of oral issues and infections. A tongue piercing can result in difficulty chewing and swallowing food and even speaking clearly since the jewelry stimulates the excess saliva production. Nerve damage is also another issue you can face, along with allergic reactions to the metal in the jewelry. Even your sense of taste can be altered. Oral piercings can also impact your teeth. Lip, cheek, and tongue piercings can all result in chipped and cracked teeth. Plus, these piercings have a tendency to wear away tooth enamel. In a tongue piercing or in a frenum piercing, which is the flap of tissue connecting your upper lip to your gum, the ball of the piercing can damage the tooth enamel on the front two teeth, and it can also wear away the soft gum tissue, causing irreversible gum recession. Since it takes one to two months for lip and cheek and tongue piercings to heal, there's plenty of time for an infection to set in, and taking the piercing in and out of the mouth can also increase the risk of infection by introducing outside bacteria. Even the herpes simplex virus and hepatitis B and C can be spread during an oral piercing. And in rare cases, endocarditis, which is an inflammation of the heart, can occur if bacteria from the bloodstream enter the heart and lodge on the heart valves. And while it's not possible to pierce your teeth, some people fake it by placing jewels into drilled out holes on the teeth. This is also a bad idea. Drilling into the tooth can cause sensitivity, and if you drill too deep, the nerve of the tooth can die and you'll wind up needing a root canal. Gum issues are also common as the jewels are magnets for plaque and tartar buildup. Now, if you're set on getting a piercing, make sure the shop has a health certificate in clear view and uses disposable gloves and wrapped and sterilized disposable instruments and jewelry. But understand, you probably will wind up with problems. In my opinion, I think you should skip the piercing totally, but diversity makes the world go round, so just be safe. I'm medical editor Dr. Corey Bear with your weekend house call.